Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and I wanna welcome you back to Cinti Relly. Today, I'm a little bit more glammed up than usual. I did my makeup inspired by Briar Rose, which for those of you who aren't Sleeping Beauty nerds like me, Briar Rose is the name that Aurora went by when she was raised in the forest as a peasant by the three good fairies. So my makeup, shout out to Briar Rose, cause it's inspired by her. So this is just a closer look at my makeup. As you can see, I have rosy lids and some warm brown in the crease. And then I have a beautiful neutral lip because she was raised as a peasant, but still fabulous. And that's by NYX because I'm obsessed with them lately. So this week I thought I would go through my character autograph book with you guys for my 2016 trip. I was really, really excited to get into character hunting for this 2016 trip because on my 2015 trip, I was interested in character hunting, but I didn't really go for it. I didn't experience all of the aspects of character hunting. And for this 2016 trip, I really wanted to get into that. So this book is very much filled up. I would say it's a solid three quarters maybe 80% filled up. So we are gonna go through it together and I'll give you guys some comments on some of my favorite experiences. And I always love autograph book videos, I don't know why. I just love seeing all of the character signatures and how that reflects aspects of their actual character. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my book. So opening it up, I don't know if you can tell, but it says this book belongs to, and I wrote, Princess Jacinta, because I like to think that I'm a princess, but who doesn't, right? First autograph of the trip, I had Anastasia and Drizella. They were a really fun meet, especially to do with my boyfriend, because they were like, well, how did he do the, with the jewelry? And like asking me like what pieces of jewelry he bought me. So this was the first autograph of my trip, and it was really fun. If you've never met the Anastasia and Drizella, the stepsisters from Cinderella, they were so much fun. So I would definitely recommend going and doing this. Next we have a meet I would recommend to anyone, no matter who you are or what movies you like, you have to go meet guests on. He was so funny. Um, if you guys watch my haul video, you know I wore, my boyfriend and I were wearing anniversary buttons. So he said to my boyfriend, wow, you got her the best anniversary present anyone could ever give someone. And my boyfriend goes, is it meeting you? And he goes, yeah, yeah it is. And I'm like, oh, Gaston, I'm in the corner swooning as my boyfriend's talking to Gaston, but it was so funny. So definitely, I don't care who you are or what movies you like, you gotta go meet Gaston. Early in my trip, of course I had to go meet Princess Aurora because she is my favorite. She's inspired my makeup look today, as I mentioned before but she is absolutely my favorite, so she was the third meet of the entire trip because I was like, baby, I don't care what you have planned, we're going to meet Princess Aurora because I did my manicure inspired by her for the trip and she loved it. I'll post a picture on Instagram at some point, but I love her so much. She's just so pretty and she's so magical. Another one of my favorites is the always elegant Princess Tiana in her beautiful regal green dress. And I love her, she's so sweet. She was like, oh, if I knew it was your anniversary, I would have made something for you. So, super sweet. I was so excited that the fairy godmother was out for, um, out for character meets because I didn't really think she was even out. Like, I, I heard that, you know, she might have been out, but she wasn't scheduled anywhere. This was one of those things where I saw her walking and I was like, we have to go! Like hitting my boyfriend's shoulder, we have to go meet the fairy godmother! So, super excited that I got to meet her. Next signature is a classic for any Disney trip and it is Mickey Mouse. This particular signature is from the Town Square Theater where he talks to you. Um, if you've never done it, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. It's a little odd to experience at first, but I'm so glad we did it. I would always recommend going to meet him there because it's just such an experience. It's one of those things that when you go to Disney World, you just have to experience. One of my personal favorites is Tinkerbell. She's sweet, she's sassy, and she fixes things. I love her, she's so cute. She really fun me, super energetic. She was very high energy, very in character, a lot of fun. Then we have Goofy, and he was really fun to meet too. Super playful, he play, was playing jokes on me and my boyfriend the whole time we were there in our little section. He's so cute. And then we have my absolute favorite, Donald Duck. I love 
love him so much. This particular character meet, I think, was my favorite of the entire trip because he said he, like, pantomimed to the photographer. He was like, she needs to stay here and just say good things about me. I was like, Donald, I love you so much. And he was like, oh my gosh, yes. So, uh, he was so much fun to meet. Uh, this was from the Pete Silly slideshow, so was the Goofy signature. Um, I just did the whole circus tent because it was just easier and it was air conditioned, so yeah. Um, but he was so much fun to meet, oh my gosh. He was like, oh, he was giving me hearts, he was blowing me kisses. So, such a fun character meet with Donald Duck it because I love him so much. I love him so much. Next I have my girl, Daisy Duck. So, of course, you can't have Donald without Daisy or Daisy without Donald. And I got really excited because she wrote happy birthday from Daisy Duck instead of just Daisy Duck. And I love when they do that, when they add a little bit extra. So, um, so excited that she added a little bit of an extra note because I told her how much I love her. Then, of course, the ever sweet Minnie Mouse. Love her. A very pretty, very elegant love Cinderella from one of my favorite princesses. Another one of my favorite princesses is a very elegant Rapunzel signature. A gorgeous Elsa signature, complete with Frosties and Snowflakes. And of course an Anna signature. I actually have a story about the Anna and Elsa meet and greet. It is... It is one of those stories that you will tell people for the rest of your life. And that's all I'm going to say about it now. It was an unbelievable character experience. Uh, I'll share it someday, but not today. Today's not that day. Next, we have some of my favorites, Doug and Russell, and they were so cute. I wore my up ears when I went to meet them, and they went nuts. Doug tried to eat them. It was so cute. So I love Doug and Russell. If you're in Animal Kingdom, I definitely recommend going to meet them. Maybe it's, I love them just because they're from my favorite movie, but they're such a fun meet. Really, really fun. Another Mickey Mouse signature. This was at the Adventurer's Outpost in Animal Kingdom. And we have another Minnie Mouse signature. So this was also the Adventurer's Outpost in Animal Kingdom because I met them together. Next, we have a Belle signature from the France Pavilion at Epcot. She's so cute. She's in her little day dress. So I didn't meet her in her yellow ball gown, but super cute in her day dress. She was very sweet. During my third, yes, third Mickey Mouse meet, my pen started to crap out on me and I was like freaking out because I was at the Epcot character spot and I was in line to meet uh, Goofy and Minnie and I was freaking out because my pen wasn't working. So he went and he grabbed a, he grabbed like a, a Sharpie that he had at his station and he signed with that. But I also got really excited because he was writing more than just Mickey Mouse. He wrote your pal, Mickey Mouse, because that was a really fun interaction. And I think definitely the more you banter with them, the more likely they're going to give you an extra little note. Um, I had a really fun uh, interaction with Mickey at that point in time when this was signed. So I think that's why he signed your pal, Mickey Mouse, instead of just signing his name. Next, we have another sweet, goofy interaction. This one was also really sweet. And he wrote love, goofy, instead of just goofy. You can see my pen is starting to fail on me and I was so upset because I had bought the princess pen, the one that was had Aurora's crown on it because she's my favorite. And it, like halfway through the trip, I don't know if I just had too many characters or it was the heat was making the ink dry up, I don't know what was going on, but I had to buy another pen um, like halfway through the trip. But uh, I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, it was just a little bit disappointing. So. That's my Goofy signature. And now we have another Minnie Mouse again from the Epcot character spot. You can probably see that the pen is still crapping out. It's working, but it's on its last leg, so. And of course I had to meet Snow White, the princess that started it all. Some people don't really like Snow White, but I do. I like her a lot. I think she's very sweet. Um, she was a very sweet character interaction. Next, I'm moving on to the signatures from 1900 Park Fair. For signature from 1900 Park Fair, I have Winnie the Pooh, and he's one of my favorites. And I had I wore my Pooh ears when I went to meet him, and he loved them so much. He was like giving them kisses, and he gave me snuggles, and it was really cute. So I love Winnie the Pooh. He's a silly little bear, 
Um, if you watch my favorites video, you know I love Winnie the Pooh. But it was really fun to meet him, especially at 1900 Park Fair. And meeting, wearing, meeting him wearing my Pooh ears was like, it just worked. It, it worked. Next, I have Mary Poppins, who told me I'm practically perfect in every way, which I like to think so. Next, I have Tigger! I was gonna ask him to give me a balancing lesson, but there were too many tables around him, and I didn't want to cause a scene, but he was super fun. Uh, if you watch my haul video, I had you'll know I had a fun interaction with Tigger, because I had a miniature version of him, like a miniature Tigger plush, in my bag. And I took it out, and I was like, Tigger, look, I carry you around with me! And he, like, made us take a picture holding it, so that was so much fun. Next, I have the very sweet Miss Alice. When I met her, um, I stood up and I said, how do you do, Miss Alice? And then I went to shake her hand and she went, oh my, that's manners. Um, so that was really fun. Next, I have the Mad Hatter and he's so much fun to meet. There was some uh, talk going around the restaurant where people were telling him that he was being too loud. And when he was signing my book, I said, if it's any consolation, you know, I don't think you're being too loud at all. And he goes, you don't? and screams it was so funny but he's really funny to me and I like meeting him with Alice like at 1900 Park Fair or anytime they're together because they do play off each other and it was really fun. Next we have Chippendale. I do love Chippendale. They're adorable. They cause trouble for Donald. Um, so they're always a fun meet. I, I told them, I said, which one of you guys is the better dancer? And of course they each said that they were the better dancer. But I said, you know, I think you guys are just going to have to have a dance contest because there's no way to know who's the better dancer. So that's what they did, of course. <laughs> so that was really fun. So this was a fun meet because they had a dance contest. Of course, I met all the other main characters. So I had to meet Pluto at some point in my trip. And he's really cute. I like how he has the little paw print on his signature. I was really excited to meet Max Goofy's son because I didn't really even know that he was out for character meets. But sure enough, he was at Hollywood Studios, so I got the chance to meet him. Of course, I have another Daisy Duck signature, because one is never enough. Of course, another Donald Duck signature, because again, one is not enough. So this was Donald at uh, Hollywood Studios, and this was my last signature of the trip. So I'm really glad I had Donald Duck to conclude my trip signature as my character meet. So that is my character autograph book. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tour through my character experiences. And I hope it gave you guys a better look into my Disney trip, this 2016 trip. I would love to do a video about giving my advice on how to have great character experiences. So please let me know in the comments if you're interested in that and I can put you to the top of my list. If you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know. Make sure you subscribe for more Disney love and Disney content because I put out new videos every Wednesday. If you don't want to wait a whole week in between my videos, you can follow my adventures day to day on Twitter and Instagram, which I will put the links to what they are below. I really hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I did making it and have a magical day.